All right, yeah, as long as Super Show's in the background, that'd be great. We're at the Reptile Super Show, and we're going to go around and ask people what they bought, how much they paid for it, and what the plans are with what they bought after they leave the show. Friends and family on our way to the Reptile Pomona Super Show. Pomona Reptile Super Show. And we're just going to get there quickly. Um, I, I, today's going to be set up day and I'm just trying to get set up real quick and then get some rest tonight. Man, it's been a long day already. Last night we uh, had to take Leia to the emergency room. She was at a friend's house and caught the end of a wooden jump rope right to the face. And they are playing some kind of game. It whipped around and caught her right under the eye. Luckily not in the eye. Yeah, that was that made for a... A little bit of a late night instead of uh, preparing and packing, we were doing that. So n now I'm just gonna try and get to the show quickly and safely, and then we will have a good time and show you lots of awesome things. Actually, we're gonna stop and play a quick game of pickleball before we get all the way on the road. <laughs> Let's just wander around. Let's still eat. let's find people that have bought stuff. And as soon as we see somebody that has animals in their hand, we'll just ask. We'll find out. Here we go. This perfect. Right Hi there. Would you mind talking to us for a moment? What did you get here? So today I got a blue tongue skink, and then we're also on the hunt for a crested gecko. And how much did you pay for that blue tongue skink? Uh, about 180. What are your plans for that blue tongue skink now that you have it? Um, I'm just keeping him as a pet, really. Um, just like exotic animals, I have two crested geckos and a snake at home, so what might not add to the collection, right? Yeah, his name is Khonshu. I am curious to see how many will end up being pets and how many will be for breeding. And then we're not necessarily going to stick with just animals. Like, whatever people are buying, that's what we're going to look at. Excuse me, guys, would you mind doing a short, like, one-minute interview about your animal? You know, okay, sometimes people don't want to talk to you. It's all good. What did you guys get here today? A little crested gecko and a leopard. Okay, and it's just the enclosure right here? Yes, just one. But we already have another enclosure at home because we're going to split them. Gotcha. Yeah. So how much did you pay for your animals in the enclosure? These were 50% off and then the enclosure, so it was 160 total. 160 for both animals and the enclosure? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So what are the plans for these animals once you leave the show with them here? The mom takes care of them. The kids don't help. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for your time. Right, really appreciate it. You. Have a great day. Get home safely. See, there's a guy with a bag over there. Oh, we're losing him. A lot of people with Timberline bags. I kind of want to ask about a Timberline bag. Next Timberline bag I see, we'll see. Because, But they're also free samples, right? So, but if somebody looks like they've stuffed it full with other stuff, then I'll, that's the bag we'll look for. Would you mind talking to me for a moment, bro? Sure. A video? Yeah. I'm just wondering, what, what did you get at the show today? The show today, just some Peters, toys. Uh, I'm going to be going back for some uh, cicadas and leopard geckos. I'm still looking around. Okay. Yeah. All right, still looking around. You haven't got everything you're going to get yet? No, still much more to go. All right. Yeah. Well, what's the plans for the animals that you get here at the show today? I'll just grow them out, have them in the best uh, enclosure that I can yeah, for, the, for the ultimate display. Awesome. Yeah. Love it, man. Thank you very much. What did you get there, man? Oh, I just gave him a cockroach. Oh, I just gave him a cockroach just for free? Yes. So you got a free cockroach at the show. What are you going to do with it? Um, well, he said that it is a female, so it's going to be hatching a bunch of cockroaches, I guess. I have three tarantulas, so they're going to be eaten by my tarantulas. Gotcha. Food. Food for the other pets. Gotcha. Okay, yes. cool. We're still on the hunt for a Timberline bag that somebody stuffed full and find out what they've stuffed their Timberline bag full of. Oh, no, they didn't stuff them. They just got... Those, that's just what's in it already. That's a oh, fresh, that's a plant a guy, plant guy. Let's do this. What did you get here at the show? Oh, man, we got a bunch of plants over here. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> we got um, some tropical moss for my paludarium terrarium so it doesn't die off, as well as some, you know, flightless fruit flies for the uh, beta, as well as my girlfriend's frogs that we've got, you know, peperomia, rabbit's foot fern, caladium, or I think caladium, or is it syngonium? Her plant. And then we got some dwarf crawdads, some blue dwarf crawdads, as well as he got a red, white, and blue crawdad. Not a dwarf, though. And, yeah, that's about it. That's about all we got today. Still not even halfway through the show, so a lot of money to spend. All right, well, how much money have you spent so far, would you say? 
150? Not bad. Yeah, about 150. We haven't gotten into animals yet, so this is all just plants. And I mean the crawdads, but the big money's yet to be spent today. All right, fair enough. What's the plans for all these uh, plants and animals once they leave the show? Oh, man. Uh, this is going in his your crested gecko tank. I got a couple paludariums with tree frogs that the osmos is going into. Uh, the caladium or syngonium, whichever it is. I think it's just a plant. And then the rabbit's foot fern for propagation as well as more paludariums. Mainly paludariums and terrariums, yeah. Very cool, man. Very cool. Also part of the show. You know, when it's a good show, it's packed. Sometimes you just got to wait to move. It's totally fine. It's part of the show. Expect to wait to move. Looking for an animal somebody bought. Looking for something that somebody bought. Holding something that you bought. There we go. There's a guy there. Excuse me, sir. Would you yeah. mind talking to me a minute about that box you got right there? Sure. All right, cool. What, what do you got in that box there? In this box? Oh, oh, one of you guys, huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, isopods, roly polies, pill bugs, whatever you want to call them. Did you buy those here at the show? Or? Uh, no, I'm actually giving them to this vendor here, but I do supply them myself. Isopod Paradise. Okay. Nice. These are Sevillas, so... Um, they're uh, more of a meat protein species. There are plant protein species, and there are species that eat both meat and plant protein diets. What would a box like this full of that many ice pods go for retail? This one here should go for about $200. And then what would be the plan once somebody bought some, a box like this and they got it home, like what would be the plan? Isopods are used for cleanup crews, for vivariums, terrariums. They help keep your terrarium organic and bioactive. You can see in that box, each one of those containers is a different species. There's, yeah, sure. there's 12 different species in there, minimum. Each one has its own um, habitat. Some like it drier, some like it wetter, some like a high humidity with a dry gradient. So it just, do a little research, you got them going. Purveyors of happy isopods. All right, let's see if we can find some more. I want to find a snake. We haven't even found a snake yet, have we? No snake yet? Oh, there's a snake. Did you just buy that here at the show? No? Okay. <laughs> Looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> like, did I buy this snake at the show? <laughs> no. <laughs> that kind of question is that. <laughs> All right, we need to find a snake. I want to know about snakes. Oh, I see a tub over there. It's something interesting looking. It's a toy. It's a toy. <laughs> a snake. I'm going to find one. Look at that. That's cool. Come on, snake. Come on, snake. Who bought a snake? Who bought a snake? Somebody, somebody bought a snake. Spider's kind of cool too. Talk to that guy. Would you mind talking to me about your spider that you got there? Totally. What'd you get there? It's a uh, yellow garden. Oh, is it a microphone? Yes, yeah, microphone. Oh, gotcha. Here, we got this guy over here. All right. Oh, I see. There's a camera behind me. Yeah, it's just a yellow uh, garden spider. We're gonna be mounting like a big piece of wood on the wall so he can build a web, and we're just gonna be tossing crickets and stuff at him. Should live a couple months, so he's pretty neat. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, how much did you pay for that? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks? Yeah. I guess for, you say it lives about a couple months? Yeah. The wood was 40. Okay, the wood was 40. But, you know, you, every year you get a new one, right? So you put a new one up there, it lives a couple months, it dies, you get a new one, you toss some more crickets at it. It's kind of a, a living piece of art, if you will. It's just their lifespan. Yeah, that's what it is. They live a couple months and then they move on and, yeah. Cool. That's what they do. Still got to find that snakey snake. Where the heck is the snake? Somebody bought a snake up in this piece. I know it's not just all plants and bugs and crawdads and... Lizard, somebody bought a snake. We need a snake. Somebody, 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 somebody bought a snake. I just know it. Man, somebody is smoking weed in here. I don't see anybody having anything. There's a lot of empty hands walking around here. She had a big bag. I think it was just food, though. Just peeking in the bag, seeing if there's anything interesting. No, I'm sorry about that. Leopard gecko. I want a snake. a big box for just like a sweatshirt and a couple things. Somebody somewhere, somewhere bought a snake. Adler had a great idea. Let's stand here in the big center and wait for somebody to walk by with the snake instead of maybe chasing the snake person without knowing it and never catching them. Snake. We need a snake. Would you mind talking to us about what you got today at the show? Sure. Awesome, thanks. What did you get at the show here, sis? Uh, I got a hog nose exanthicet ghost. Say it, say it again. I got a hognose, hognose snake. Hognose snake. We were looking for somebody with a snake. We hadn't found a single snake buyer yet until until you. So thank you. Awesome. Well, um, how much did you pay for that snake? Five fifty. Five hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go, mom and dad. <laughs> 
So what are your plans now you have this snake? What are the plans for this snake? Um, we're going to put it in a 20 gallon and then we're going to see how it does in the 20 gallon. Awesome. So a pet? Yeah. Yeah. Pet. We're gonna feed it to another snake. We're not breeding. We're not breeding. <laughs> We're gonna feed it to another snake. Do you mind? Can we get a little B-roll of it real quick? Th uh, thank you for talking to us today, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got a snake. The plan worked. Plan worked, huh? Nice work, Adler. Now I, I don't know. Now we got a snake. Like every time I see a snake, even if apparently if it's at a show and we're not herping, uh, it's still a gold star day. So. Now we got a snake, I don't know, I feel like we should go look at what I got at the show, what I paid for it, what my plans are for that stuff. Let's do that. Oh, you know what? I needed to, oh, where's Jackie? Okay. All right, we're gonna find her. Well, I'll drag her back here. I'll drag her back here. So okay. Five minutes, come back. Five minutes, come back? All right. We should wait for her outside the bathroom. <laughs> That's a small snake. I said a snake. Why does it have to be small? Do you want the other one? Oh, yeah, I want a big snake. I gotta pull him out. Oh, we don't have to do it. Okay, it's too much work for you, never mind. Just don't let, he's gonna choke me out. You can't put it around both sides of the neck, bro. One around the back side. Jackie. Hi. You are the main West Coast customer service rep for Redline Shipping. That's me. I nailed it. <laughs> so how is that going and what can people expect when they get a hold of it? What, like, just what do you do? So I help people when they have questions about shipping, whether they need temperature guideline questions or just how do I ship an animal? I help them walk them through it from A to B and help them through delays, you know, that are bound to happen, but we work through it and everything arrives safe and sound. So if you got a problem, I'm your girl. If somebody has an issue and they reach out about how long can they expect before you get, they get a response? Usually about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, see, yeah. I've done that before. I know that that's, you're not just saying that, like yeah. I reached out one time and like, I think it was like less than 10 minutes and, yeah. I, and, then, and then it was you. Yeah. And I was like, hey, this Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> and she was back. Jackie's awesome. If you have any problems with anything with your orders, Redline Shipping, West Coast over here, she's going to be one you're getting a hold of. Just wanted to put a face to the name so that people can see the wonderful person they're talking to. Thank you. There she is, Jackie, Redline Shipping. Bye. What is this snake's name? Pickles. This is Pickles, the uh, anaconda. Is this Hypo? No. Oh, but she looks like Yeah, right? why is this thing so light? I have no idea. She's the only one that came out that way. Okay, so... Her sister kind of looks like that, but she's more blue. Say it again? Said her sister, who's the same size, kind of looks like her, but way more blue. She just looks like a weird... I guess hypo, but she's supposed to be normal. I wow. can, she came from two of my normals. Yeah. <laughs> normal and Megan Kelly. Not two sentences that you see. <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Normal and Megan Kelly. Not two words you hear often in the same sentence. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what can you tell me about that snake, sir? Uh, well, this is our ambassador snake here. Mr. Versace. Versace? Yeah. We take him to all the shows. You know, people always want to come to the booth and hold a snake or touch a snake. So he's like the coolest snake we got. He's about seven years old. He's a pastel yellow belly pie ball. And more importantly, he's not head shy. Kids, when you, first thing they want to do is grab the snake's head. So I'm never worried about this guy snapping or hissing or he's just a puppy dog. So if you come to a show and you're like, where are the vendors that are letting people, are you filming me? Okay. <laughs> if you come to a show and you're trying to find like, because some, like, some vendors are like, oh, you can't hold my snake, sorry. But you come bomb projects. They got the snake out ready for you to hold. So come on, and check out bomb projects. And come on, bring your kids. It's a family affair. Yeah. But hide your wife. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now I know how Jesse feels. I'm like, I'm like, why are you pointing over there? He's like, he asked me like, are you sure you're filming me? Like, why are you pointing? <laughs> yeah, I got you on the rule of thirds, bro. <laughs> another snake. We got to do another snake. We got another snake. Do you mind talking to us about your snake there that you got? What did you get here at the show? Uh, pasta headcount ball python. For Pas pastel head clown ball python, how much you pay for it? Two fifty. It's three hundred, but I, I got him down to two fifty. What are your plans for that snake when you get him home? Uh, I'm gonna breed him with my uh, albino male. Oh, that's right. We're going to my booth now. Check out my stuff that I got. I think Rami was getting converted to Buddhism back there. Somebody's buying a snake at our booth. We came back and somebody's buying one of our snakes right now at the booth. That gentleman right there, he's buying one of our snakes, and uh, maybe we should ask him how much he paid for it since I wasn't here to sell it. <laughs> All right, let's take a look what I got. So I got two things here at the show today. The first thing I got 
was a uh, tailless whip scorpion of some kind. It's like a Brazilian one. It's one that gets like big and they're really cool looking. This one's really tiny and you could probably barely see him on that little piece of bark there. But my plan for this guy, well, so I, well, I paid 50 bucks for him because this is the one that gets bigger than the one that would have been 25 bucks. And it's still a baby. I would have liked to get an adult, but the adults were sold by the time I got back. So this is what it is. You know, I got this one. And we're going to uh, grow this guy up so that we can take him to the educational shows and teach kids that even though something looks freaky and crazy and scary, that's probably it could just be harmless. Just you have to learn a little bit more about it. So that's this guy. And a similar thread won this guy last night at the US Ark silent auction. This one is a this is a vinegaroon. It's also a type of like a tailed whip scorpion. I don't know. I have to do more research on them. I know that I know the temperature, I know the feeding and I know all that stuff. I just don't know enough about like the specific names of the species and I know I do know that they're called a vinegaroon because when they're threatened, uh, their defense mechanism is to put out a chemical that smells very much like vinegar, or maybe it actually is vinegar chemically, but that's the deterrent. And they have those big fat pictures on the front, but they can't hurt you. So another thing is to show kids like, look, this thing looks like it's scary and it might be from nightmares, but it's actually just a little harmless bug that you can hang out with and, and respect, just like the rest of uh, the animal kingdom. So there you go. That's what I got. I hope you guys really enjoyed your time with us at the show this weekend, seeing what everybody got. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.